I'm so fascinated how at the same time as having a deep desire to write, we can also have the thought in our mind that our writing sucks. If this feels like something that you're going through, I'm going to explain exactly what you can do. What we're going to look at today is what you can do when on the one hand you've got these thoughts saying my writing sucks and on the other hand you've got this urge to write. If you're new here, welcome, hello, nice of you to stop by. So in this video I'm going to do one of the things that I do quite often on this channel which is to teach a practice that is always going to bring you back so that you can achieve your true, so that you can achieve your true creative potential. That's like my bottom line job as a life coach for writers and we're always coming back to that in the videos in this channel so if you haven't subscribed yet then we would love for you to join us and really make sure that you're going to achieve your writing potential. So on the one hand we've got that thought my writing sucks on the other hand we have an urge to write we want to get a book deal or we want to write a second book you know maybe you've already written a first one so the first thing that I want you to understand in this practice is that the urge to write is coming from the soul, it's coming from the heart, it's coming from that creative source within you and it is leading you to your potential, okay? So out there into the future. The thoughts in your mind, the thought of this sucks, the thought is based on something that's happened in the past and it's based on an interpretation of what happened in the past. So something back there. So we've got this opportunity in this moment, we can say, I'm gonna tune into that urge and I'm gonna keep walking towards that urge knowing that at the end is my creative potential, my destiny, that vision. Or I can keep listening to that thought and I can keep looking back at the past. So this visualization can be really helpful for when it happens in the moment. And I want you to understand that in that moment when you're thinking about writing or you're sitting and you're writing and you hear the thought, you have a chance to act from that moment, from the present, rather than listen to the thought and slip back into the past to that interpretation of what happened maybe even years ago. So anytime you hear that thought, it's almost like a little alarm, a little notification, you know, like pinging up on your phone and it says, which choice are you going to make? So sometimes it can be really useful just to start from there. Instead of hearing in your mind, my writing sucks, you can also say, this is also an invitation to say, which choice are you going to make? Are you going to make that choice where you come back to your desire to write and you come back to connecting where that desire is going to lead you in your future, that vision that you have? Or are you going to make the choice to take that look over your shoulder and to stay with the past? And sometimes it can be really useful to get clear about the impact of that. What's the impact of continuing to listen to that voice? Of continuing to listen to my writing sucks? Like if you're always listening to that and saying, yeah, that's true, where's that going to get you? Does that make you want to sit down and write? I can't imagine that it does. It certainly wouldn't make me want to sit down and write. But if you connect and make that choice to feel that urge to write and to really believe that that urge is taking you to a new future, then you have a chance of breaking free. So there we go, this visualization, which when you hear that voice, you're saying, okay, this is a reminder, I can make a choice. What am I gonna choose? I'm gonna choose to stick with the past. Where does that lead? Nowhere new doesn't lead to my vision, doesn't lead to my writing dreams, or I can really be strong and I can really start that practice of listening to the urge, knowing that that urge to write is going to take me to an incredible destiny. That incredible vision that you have of your book making the impact in the world that you want to make. 
So make that impact, right? Make that choice. Start practicing today. See that future ahead and know that the past has happened and you don't want it to continue happening. Choose the future. So lovely to share this practice with you. I'm here on the sofa every Monday and hopefully see you the following Monday. See the links below, you can grab a free download and you're gonna find some of those principles really useful if this one resonated for you. Keep going for those writing dreams. Do not deny the world your words. See you next time.